This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And for the longest now, I've been receiving a lot of emails asking what would 5G speeds be like on T-Mobile with a 5G device on the 600 megahertz spectrum. Well, as you can see, I have some of the speed tests that were ran. Now, some people have already seen comments saying, oh, this is taking place in Puerto Rico. The backhaul is not the same. There's always an excuse. Um, I always call it how it is. Neville Ray stated the speeds on average could be between 200 to 300 megabits per second. So the backhaul is, is not going to make this any better. Um, that's the highest that this could potentially reach. So these are pretty much the max speeds that you're going to see. And like I said on, my, on some of my other videos, this is what we've seen on LTE. This isn't anything different. Um, the, and this is uh, before consumers actually get on 5G devices. So as more consumers get on 5G devices, speeds are going to get slower. And it's going to be the same for AT&T. I'm not picking a side here. I'm not picking on anybody. I'm just trying to give a real world um, give a real world picture of what speeds are going to be like, not the hype that T-Mobile is presenting. The speeds are going to be even slower than what you're seeing here, depending on um, usage. Uh, carriers are going to effectively, as of this quarter, start tracking 5G market share. That's for Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T. So we are going to start seeing people get on these 5G phones just based on, you know, local marketing, nationwide marketing. <clears throat> it's going to resonate with some customers and they are going to switch. I've, I'm, I'm already seeing it. People are asking uh, tons of questions, but some are also asking, is it necessarily uh, a gain, enough gain for me to pay for a 5G device? As many of you know, 5G devices are more expensive than the LTE devices that are being released at this time. And you judge for yourself on the speed test. As you see, top right, 5G logo. This is a Note 10 5G, a Note 10 Plus 5G. The only thing that, that seems to stand out here is the, the upload is very consistent. So they could have done a two carry aggregation on the upload or the upload channel is just completely empty in that area. But for now, LTE will be used as an anchor on top of the N71 band uh, 600 megahertz that they're using to, to um, push this 5G technology. Another thing that I want to point out, again, like I said, there's a 20% increase. Most are, most are reporting a 20% increase on speeds over LTE. One thing I want to point out on this test, as you will see here, let me zoom in a little bit for you. Ping time, 61 milliseconds. That's just not 5G and what it presents. So again, early on, it's going to perform like almost like the LTE advanced networks that we're used to today. AT&T said it in their press release. T-Mobile went ahead and took a different route. They made it out to be this great new technology that's going to push the limits. And again, as you see... The uh, the ping time is a bit high even for 5G. So I, th I do think that on other tests that we are going to see come uh, December 6th, we are going to see lower ping times, you know, in the 20s and 30s. But we're seeing that on LTE today. So we're not going to see anything drastically lower than what we're seeing on LTE today. And that's the same thing that AT&T talked about in their press release. So, again, I just wanted to uh, show you guys these uh, speed tests. Um, making you guys aware. And uh, as you can see, I mean, it even says uh, LTE right here. So LTE is still being used as the anchor. What makes it 5G is the N71, uh, band 71, 600 megahertz that's being used. It does have um, a, a 5G radio on it, and they did flip the switch on that. But again, like I said, it's going to perform very similar to LTE. And it's not a real 5G generational leap until it becomes standalone or the channels get much wider as what we've seen with a millimeter wave. So leave all your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about this. Again, I don't claim uh, loyalty to any carrier. Never have. I, I just call it how it is. And this on at t even when Verizon uh, does the uh, coverage 5G, it's going to perform closer to LTE. And we've already been seeing that with Sprint as well. 
So definitely stay tuned to the channel. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Also hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload content like this. Also follow all of the Tech Life social media outlets for more updates. This is Tyrone with Tech Life and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.